Today we will make a free energy generator using a coil and use the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction to generate a free energy. Let us do the experiment. For this we required a, a circular object over which we will mount a insulated copper wire to have a maximum number of turns. So uh, we will leave a uh, certain wire and uh, continuously wound uh, the wire um, over this uh, in a circular uh, way. Make a maximum number of uh, turns over this. So we have made a maximum number of turns around this uh, circular object uh, like this uh, by twisting it around this the circumference of this circular plastic object uh, so that maximum flux can uh, link the coil when the magnet is uh, moving to and fro in between this uh, circular object. So this works on the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction stating that whenever a magnet moves uh, in between the coil, uh, maximum flux link in the coil changes and EMF is generated. So we have twisted uh, um, the coil uh, uh, around this circular object and see that whether the EMF will generate or not. After doing this, uh, we will <coughs> fix this circular object with a uh, stand like this uh, we will fix it and see that these terminals are attached to this so we will fix it with uh, the two sided tape we will take a two sided say, tape according to its length we will cut it so we have taken the two sided tape and we will fix this uh, circular object around this and see that these two terminal uh, we can fix it with the these nuts are um, particular distance so once it has been done like this so now we have to uh, take a, a magic of a neodymium magnet we will take a syringe like this which is half cut the full syringe is there which we will cut the front portion and make it like this and move this piston inside like this so that we can move this piston inside this so that maximum flux can uh, link the um, uh, the coil so for this we will take a, a <coughs> neodymium magnets um, round neodymium magnets these are the neodymium magnets we will take this. it around the piston in this format so we will fix it in this format these magnets we will fix These are the powerful magnets. So we are fixing it properly on the four sides of this piston. Once it has been fixed, <coughs> we will try to insulate it with the insulation tape so that it can't be uh, removed.
so we will take a insulation tape and fix this magnet around the circumference of this piston so that this magnet doesn't move here and there so we have fixed this uh, uh, neodymium magnet around the piston now see that uh, these magnets doesn't move here and there once it has been fixed we have to fix a round magnet in front of the piston also once it has been fixed we will check whether this piston is able to move to and fro so once it has been fixed once we, we will take the stand and fix this piston so that it will move to and fro so we have to fix it tightly and see that whether this a is able to move or not See that it is fixed tightly. Once it has been fixed, fit the piston around it. Check whether the piston is able to move or not freely. So once it is able to move freely, now we will fix this. Uh, take a tape and we will fix this it with a two sided tape we will cut it and <clears throat> fix this stand like this in such a way that this magnet will move in between it in a two sided way after doing this uh, check it whether it is able to move freely in between this or not the magnet is able to move so once it has been done now the time is to fix this uh, uninsulate the copper wire with a blade or a knife See that properly an insulation has been done. properly on insulation has been done now we will solder it with a solder iron see that a dry solder doesn't happen so we will properly solder it here Both the side we will shoulder it. Dry 
solder doesn't happen and uh, properly we will solder it once it is been soldered next we will fix a filter capacitor <coughs> to it okay before that we have to fix a diode for half wave rectification so we have left that now we will fix a diode uh, for half wave rectification So we have fixed the diode for half wave rectification. After that we will fix a filter capacitor. See that the positive side of the capacitor is fixed with the uh, diode and this negative is fixed here. So we will fix it in such a way. So we fixed a filter capacitor, half wave rectification of this coil and we have arranged everything. So here is the crankshaft moving a neolinear magnet and a round back type in between the circular uh, object uh, with uh, over which we have wound a uh, insulated uh, copper wire. And we will see that whenever this magnet moves, magnet moves in between this insulated copper wire which has number of turns uh, whether EMF is generated or not. So once it has been fixed, now we will take an extension board and fix it and check whether the EMF is generated or not. So we will take a two sided tape and fix this extension board over this stand. Once it has been fixed, fix the positive end with the positive side of the filter capacitor. and this negative point with the negative point of the filter capacitor so once it has been fixed we have to give the torque to the motor so that it can rotate continuously So after fixing that we have to give a target to the motor and see that it will uh, rotate or not. We will see that uh, this is uh, able to move this uh, neodymium magnet and the round magnet is able to move in between uh, this circular uh, uh, coil uh, which has number of turns and see that whether EMF is generated or not. Before that we will give a torque to the motor and see that it will generate a free energy or not. So we will fix it <coughs> like this and put a torque to the motor so that it will generate the free energy or 
नॉट सो दिस इज एबल टू मूव एंड शो दैट ई एम एफ इज जनरेटेड वेन एवर द मैग्नेट मूव इन बिटवीन द कॉयल ई एम एफ इज जनरेट इन द कॉयल द ई एम एफ इज जनरेटेड इट इज रेक्टिफाइड विद हाफ एव रेक्टिफायर विद कैपेसिटर एंड गिवन टू द एक्सटेंशन फोर एंड इट विल जनरेट द एम एफ विच इज मेकिंग द मोटर टू मूव विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस डी सी बल्ब यू कैन चेक विद द ई एम एफ इज जनरेट अट हाफ सो दिस इज शोइंग दैट ई एम एफ इज जनरेटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस डी सी बल्ब we can see that emf is generated <coughs> with the help of <coughs> this so <coughs> this is how emf is generated it works on the principle of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction stating that whenever the magnet moves in between the coil uh, maximum flux is linking with the coil which will generate emf and this emf is rectified with the help of a diode and a filter capacitor and get a pure dc which runs the motor and uh, in between that uh, the bulb glows this is how we can generate the emf with the help of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so this is how we can generate an alpha the glowing of bulb shows that it is generated in the coil the glowing of the bulb shows that the mf is generated in the coil so this is how we can see that the mf is generated